see the emails being colored and highlighted differently one to another? This is what you are going to learn in this video and we are starting right now. Hello professionals, this is Diogo Roldão from Off to the Point with another very nice trick to improve your capability to read emails efficiently. Have you ever felt that you receive too many emails, that you would like to have a way to differentiate whatever is an email that was sent to you, or whenever you were in copy only, or even when your name is not there at all? Maybe when the email comes from a determined domain, or a company, or if it's a report, or probably you wanted to highlight emails from a specific person like your supervisor, your team, or your customer. In this video, you will learn how to do it. It's simpler than you thought. If you have not seen my other video here about how to read 1000 emails in less than 40 minutes, check this link out up here on the right. Toward the end of this video, there is a very nice bonus that I prepared only for you. So keep watching, don't miss it out. I'm completely sure that you are going to love it. It's a great bonus. Let's keep looking. And here we are again in this sample Outlook data that I prepared only for my YouTube channel. I got these emails from a company that I worked more than 10 years ago. This company doesn't exist anymore and these emails are in my native language, so nothing to concern here. To start from scratch, to find where to configure these color codes here in your inbox, you go to view, then click here in view settings. Once you click here, this little box will appear and you are going to click here, conditional formatting. Once you click there, you see several of these options that are already predefined by Microsoft, by Outlook and uh, you are going to start creating yours. So these are the ones that I already created here for you. I will explain you guys one by one. Let's just disable all of them for now. Save and see what happens. Now, see, my inbox is default. See, everything is blue. The natural outlook behavior, when I did not read one email, the email becomes bold and blue. This one here I read, so see, it's not bold anymore, it's just a normal black so now let's activate one by one and start talking about them in copy this is the rule that i created when i was in copy of the email so the email was not sent to me so how this rule works i click here on conditional here on conditional button i'll come here to this advanced tab and see here cc contains the oak so how to configure this i will come here to field I'll choose address fields CC. I'll leave contains here and I'll add my name, Diogo. Once I click here in add to list, see, it adds the entry here, the criteria here. Here in fields, you have all fields that Outlook has available for you to create uh, conditionals. Out of them, there are really more than 100 options here. It's amazing. Once I do OK, I will now define my font. So I define that uh, for emails that I'm copy, I want them to be italic. I want the color to be gray and uh, the size to be normal. So I will do OK. I will make sure the checkbox is marked. I'll do OK, OK again and see. See this email here? Among all emails, this one here became gray. If I click here, see what happens? I was in copy. I was not on two. So this email was not mean to me. I should have not paid much attention to this email. Nice, let's move on. The next one is important flags. These are the emails that uh, someone marked the status as important. Usually nothing happens to your Outlook except this. Let's see the screen. See this icon here? It's the only thing that uh, distinguishes this email for being important or not, this little icon here. But I prefer for the mail to be a little more in highlight in comparison to the others. So I created this important flag. I made the font bold, size normal, and then I choose red here. And the condition is here on more choices. Always make sure that you have this unread 
only items that are unread activated because this is only what you should care if you already read the mail you should not waste your time on that mail anymore it's already old story only for the new emails that you should have these rules working with all of these rules should only work with emails that are unread emails that, that, that are read don't care about them good then keep this check on this check enabled and then choose here whose importance is high leave the second one here enable do ok do ok and do ok see what happens see this email down here it had this important flag on now I will take a read on it because it's uh, this person classified this email as important. All right, moving on. My manager. My manager are the emails that came from my manager, so I wanted to take a special look on those. So I define the font as uh, Fuchsia. I define the size as big, and the font style as bold. You can define whatever color you want. This is the one that I that I choose for me. In condition, I put here the name of my managers. I wrote it, but you can also put the daily mails here as well to be more precise. Again, in more choices, I left only items that are unread checked. Then I do OK, do OK, and do OK again, and see. Now I have the email from Fabiano highlighted for me to dedicate special attention on this. Very well, moving on. The next one is from customer. These are the emails that uh, come from my customers, so I left it in green. Let's activate it. I left the font, the style as bold, the size as normal, the color as green, and then I left this on the line also checked. In condition, whenever the email comes from this domain. So, at domain.com.br because it's my country Brazil. So, if the email comes from this domain, it's my customer, so I wanted to take a special look on that too. So I will do OK. And let's take a look around. See this email here in green? This email was sent from my customer. All right? This email here as well. Very nice, no? Moving on. Project. These are emails that are coming from one particular project, and that is very broad uh, rule. You can put whatever you know, name you want in particular. The font I put purple, style put bold, size I put normal. In condition, here search for the word. So this is the word of my project. And then search in subject field only. I could choose subject field and message, but if I leave message, several emails that only has this word would also appear. Both works, depends on how broad you want to be, like how deep you want to be, how detailed you want to be. So I just left subject for the sake of this sample. And again, I left unread marked here, only items that are unread. There is nothing advanced, I will do OK, do OK and do OK again. And uh, <clears throat> now let's find these purple ones, see here, this is made with purple, see? So using the search, it highlighted me in pink. And as well as I found the email with this three digit purple here. This one down here, you guys may be thinking, hey, but this one is also three digits. So why it's red instead of purple? Because of the hierarchy. Let's look into it. The hierarchy is defined by the order of the conditional formatting top down. So whatever is higher here in hierarchy gets pretty sense in comparison to the to the lower ones. So if I want the project to be more important than important flags, I click here and move up and down. Now I'm moving higher than important flag. Okay and okay, and see, now became purple. So consider this the second bonus. Moving on, flag add emails. Just like important, I also highlight in red. These are emails that the people market me to follow up on them. So, so I left the same form as important, do OK, and uh, in the condition, here in more choices, I left only items which are flagged to me, so someone asked me to follow up on this, and items that are unread. I do OK, do OK, and do OK again, let's uh, take out the filter, and go up. Let's try to find these emails here, see, all these are or flagged emails. See this one here? That were highlighted in red. See? The rule that we created. Very nice, no? Now, 
the third bonus for you. Have you found emails where you were not there at all? You were not on two, you were not in copy, but you still received the email? Those are emails where you are part of one distribution list. There are cases, and there were many of my cases, where I did not uh, need to see those emails at all. So I will teach you now one rule to two, cut them out. I see the screen. Here on file, you click here on manage rules and alerts, and you will create one new rule. In this rule, you are gonna choose apply rule, apply rule on message I receive, click on next. Here on step one, select condition, there is no such a rule where my name is not in to or CC, so that's why this bonus is about. So you're gonna choose here where my name is not in to, and this one as well, send to people or public group. Here, you are going to identify what is the distribution list that your name was sent and type here distribution list at domain.com. Once you find this in your Active Directory or your content, you are going to double click on it, it will appear here, then you are going to do OK. Once you do OK, one DL will appear here, you move forward. This error message appear because I have not chosen anyone, so just for the sake of moving forward, I will remove this item from here. But you must keep it on. You move on, and then here you are gonna choose this option mark as read. Then you do next. If you wanted to add an exception, like if your manager sent you or one specific person sent you, you mark this very first option accept it from people or public group. Mark this one, then click here and find the person you want. In my case, I'm not gonna put anyone, no exception. Do next and then rename here uh, where I'm not there at all. If you mark this option here, this rule will apply right away to your inbox. Leave this checkbox on because you want to make this rule active and do finish. And here is your rule activated. Very well. Bonus four. I don't know about you, but uh, I like to decide myself if that email is marked as read or not. Outlook by default comes with one configuration where if the email is on your reading pane for more than five seconds, Outlook will mark that email as read. I don't like it. Outlook has another predefined configuration that uh, most of the cases also come activated, which is if you change the selection from one email to another, Outlook will mark both emails the one you were and the next one you moved to or mark both as read. I also don't like this because I really like to read the emails that I have to read. So that's why I created these many filters and many color code conditions to move out all the emails that I don't need and only leave for me to care the emails that I really need to care and for those I really want to read them all. All right, so how to get rid of this Outlook default configuration, the five seconds or the changing email setting to make the email as read. Let's see the screen. You click on file, click on options, click on mail, click here on read pane. This checkbox here, wait five seconds before mark the email as read, unmark it. If this next one here, mark items as read when selection changes, I also keep it unmarked. In this way, when I move the emails, see, between one and another, see, nothing happens. And if I leave my focus here, my reading pane showing this email here, see, it still stays unread, all right? Bonus five, moving a report out. Here, I will look for this report that has this word, status report. I found 20 items for this report. All of these are reports that I don't need to care because it's not from my area or someone else from my team is taking care of this report. So how to get rid of this to not account here in my inbox as an item that I need to read, I need to take care. I will create here under inbox a new folder called state report. See the folder is here, it's empty. Now I'll come back to file, here in manage rules again, create a new rule. Apply rule when I receive a message with specific words in subject. The second option here, I will click here down here on specific words. I'll put the word there and click on add. I'll do OK. I'll move next. On the next screen, I will choose this checkbox here, move it to the specific folder. 
and I will choose this folder that I just created. See here, test report, do OK, I'll click on next, I don't want any exception. And this is my rule. This was my son <laughs> saying that uh, he woke up. And I will leave this checkbox on to apply this rule right now. I'll click on finish, I'll click on apply. Then I'll click here in run rules now. I will choose here the folder where I want this rule to run. It will be this one here in 2010 TIM inbox. I'll do OK. I will mark the rule and I will click on run now. See the, the rule apply? Let's speed this up. And then I will click on close. I'll click on OK. I will go back to the inbox and uh, see the emails are not here anymore. If I click on the state support, see all the emails here already moved out. I could even mark them as read as well in this process, but uh, I like to see this number changing because it means that the report is being sent. So this is how I will track it. I will track it by looking at this number here and uh, seeing that it's being sent and someone is taking care of it very well. Do you know one Microsoft tool called OneNote? I bet that you know. Perhaps you are one of those like I was who think, yeah, I want to start using OneNote, you know, one day. This day has come. Check out right here my previous video all about OneNote. Only 20 minutes with all what you need to know about it. My next video will be about PowerPoint as well. Are you one of those who suffer to align many objects into one slide? Do you have that feeling that uh, it's a waste of time or too complicated to align objects into PowerPoint? Forget that thought right now. My next video will teach you a very smart and professional way to align more than 100 elements into one single slide in a matter of minutes. That's right, more than 100 elements completely aligned into one single slide in a matter of minutes. Too much to believe? So stay tuned, like, subscribe, hit the bell to not miss the moment that I will launch this video and many more other videos just like this all around corporate needs to make you a better professional. Thank you for watching. See you on next video.